Hi everyone, I am Mustafa Ali Khan Mohammed, first year resident at Dr. D.Y. Patel Hospital, Kolhapur. I would like to thank Indian radiologists for giving me this opportunity to present this paper at CTBUS conference. And I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Niranjan Patel sir, who is professor, and Ishwar sir, who is senior resident, and all my faculty at Dr. D.Y. Patel Hospital. My topic for this paper presentation is Anomalies of course of pulmonary arteries. Congenital pulmonary artery anomaly represents a diverse group of abnormalities ranging from asymptomatic incidental finding to cause of sudden cardiac death. While some may be recognized in childhood, others may be found incidentally in adulthood. We review the clinical and imaging findings in patients with congenital anomalies of pulmonary arteries, including abnormal narrowing, course communication of pulmonary arteries. It is vital to be aware of key radiological manifestations and associated hemodynamic consequences in this condition in order to facilitate, in order to facilitate accurate diagnosis and prognostic st uh, stratification. Cardiovascular system is one of the first body system to appear within the embryo. It is active by the beginning of fourth week. The development of the heart begins with the formation of primitive tube followed by folding of embryo during the end of the third week. From superior to inferior, we have truncus arteriosus, bulbous cordis, ventricle, atrium and sinus venosus. Later on, the ventricle becomes inferiorly and the atria becomes superiorly due to folding. The arterial system begins as a bilateral symmetrical system of arch vessels which then undergo extensive remodeling to create major arteries that exist that exit from the heart the endocardial cushion also appears within the truncus arteriosus which grows towards each other as they grow towards each other they twist around each other and form a spiral septum dividing the outflow tract into left and right the lungs are bypassed by two separate shunts. Firstly, the foramen ovale between the two atria, which is responsible for bypassing majority of the circulation. Any blood that does not pass through foramen ovale enters pulmonary trunk, which is linked to distal arch of aorta by ductus arteriosus. These two separate shunts allow the circulation to bypass the lung. Ductus arteriosus is a muscular wall which contracts to close after birth, a process which is mediated by bradykinin. Pulmonary artery trunk, also known as main pulmonary artery or truncus pulmonalis, is a solitary arterial outflow output from the right ventricle, transporting deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. At the level of transthoracic plane, the trunk emerges from a fibrous pericardium the trunk emerges from the fibrous pericardium and divides into a longer right pulmonary artery and a shorter left pulmonary arteries. In the concavity of the aortic arch, anterior to the left main bronchus and to the left of carina. Here we can see on the CT images, axial images, the blood from superior and inferior vena cava, it enters into the right atrium and from the right atrium, it goes into the right ventricle. The main pulmonary artery, it arises from the right ventricle and it divides into a, a longer right pulmonary artery and a shorter left pulmonary artery. The ductus arteriosus in adults become fibrous and it becomes, it is called as ligamentum arteriosus. Scans were taken from Cases presented to the Department of Radiology, multiplanar, that is axial, coronal, and sagittal images were obtained using GE Revolution ACT CT machine 128 slice. Plain CT scans of the thorax has been done by taking 1.25 mm thin axial sections at 1 mm interval. The pulmonary angiogram has been done by injecting 100 cc of IV of non-contrast of non-ionic contrast. In this case, a five-month-old male infant complains of excessive crying and sweating while feeding. So here on the axial CT images, we can see the left side of the heart is hypoplastic. 
and the the main pulmonary trunk is also severely hypoplastic and the ductus arteriosus here is patent and it supplies both the left and the right pulmonary arteries in this case a 2 year old female complains of shortness of breath more while feeding here we can see the right atrium and the right ventricle are mildly enlarged and the main pulmonary trunk is also hypoplastic and it continues as a right pulmonary arteries the left pulmonary artery it arises from patent ductus arteriosus anomalous course of anomalous course of pulmonary arteries represent a diverse group of conditions ranging from asymptomatic incidental finding to cause of sudden death radiologists should be aware of key radiological manifestation particularly given to many of these anomalies that may be incidentally found in adults the congenital abnormalities of pulmonary arteries may be detected on chest x ray but these anomalies are optimally evaluated with contrast enhanced multi detector ct which can be used to generate multi planar reformation images that can assist in making diagnosis so these are my references thank you